Hi, this is Mike, KD9BKU, and this video is going to show you how to take a Yaesu VX6 and using the DigiRig Mobile and hook up to WinLink Express packet. So I'll show you a, a few things. It's not a professional video. It's going to be very choppy. Um, hopefully you can take some screenshots of the settings because that's the hardest part to figure out. It took me a couple of weeks to get all the settings right, and hopefully this will save someone a lot of time to get their set up. So let me get started. Uh, first thing you do, obviously, is open up WinLink Express. And while that's opening, I'll show you a couple things you'll need. This website, UZ7HO. If you go to that website, you will need to download sound modem 114 and you're going to point that in a directory here shortly and uh, when, you, when you're in the WinLink Express settings also if you go to digirig.com uh, here's where you can buy a digirig and at the bottom of the page, you'll find cables for your particular radio. They are extra. They're in the area of $20 a piece. And uh, you'll need to get the one for your radio. They've got a lot of different settings, uh, different setups. So hopefully they'll have the one you need. Depending on when you buy it, um, I got this case with mine. Um, it has the DigiRig and you can keep uh, all your cables in that. It's nice to have and keep everything in one place. So now that my WinLink Express page is open, um, of course, first of all, you want to make sure that you are on Packet. Um, there's a lot of different options. You might be on Telnet if you've been messing around with it on uh, the internet, but uh, set it to Packet WinLink and open session. Once that opens, you'll want to choose the closest uh, Digipeter channel that you can use. And you can do that here under channel selection. If you open the channel selection, uh, it'll show you everything that's already loaded in there. If you hit update via internet, It'll refresh and tell you if anything is closer to you. And uh, just double click it and it'll put it right here. That's what I'm using, the N9 EOC. You want it set to direct. And then you'll hit start. Before I do that, I wanna show you my waterfall is red. The reason that is, is I've got the volume on my radio too high. So you need to adjust the volume on the radio. I'm gonna turn it down to one notch over zero. And when I do that, you'll see it goes to a green screen. So you'll need to play with the volume on your radio to get a green screen. Uh, red won't work, uh, you need to try to avoid that. Also, I've got the squelch on my radio turned to zero off. All right, I'm gonna make a connection, then I'll show you all the settings. So we'll start the session. I also, we'll turn Franklin on the radio. Made a connection. It's now connected to the Hamilton Packet Station, Hamilton County Packet Station. No emails. And now it's disconnecting. So in your settings on the WinLink packet, you go here first, open that up, 
And again, sorry, this is choppy, but I'll try to hold it still. Just need to get a screenshot of this and, and put these in your session. This is what I was talking about for the uh, sound modem. You need to find that and uh, place that there. Everything else change on yours to match these settings. Also, then you'll need to go to the sound modem and put in these two options. If they're not already there, they are, they're probably already there. But go to settings and go down to devices. And again, copy these. You'll need to change the output device and input device at the top. And, and that's what comes up after you've downloaded that sound modem. And at the bottom, where it says COM5, you'll obviously change that to whatever your radio port is. And I'll get out of this. Go to settings again. And now go to modems. And copy these settings. And put those in your session. And hopefully you're able to see these and, and put them in yours. And uh, if so, you'll be able to uh, get onto WinLink Packet and uh, send some emails with your radio. Uh, that's all. Thanks a lot.